Hey there! In this power-up, I'll be showing you how to create a search field with suggestions in a drop-down list, based on the search input. In this example, the user can search for products, and when the user clicks on a search suggestion in the drop-down field, a detailed page with the product information is opened. In our example app, I have already created a app variable that holds the product information. It's a list of objects with the schema ID and name. I have also created the product detail page, that currently only shows the name of the product. It has a page parameter product ID, which is used to set the selected product page variable. Now let's start building our search input. Let's drag an input field to our canvas and label it. We need to store the search value in a variable, so let's create a page variable search text and bind it as the value of the input field. Next, let's add a container under the search input. This will hold our search suggestion list. We'll want to suggest product names in our suggestion dropdown, so let's add a paragraph into the container, repeat it with our app variable products, and bind the value of the paragraph to the product name. Next, let's add some interactivity into our suggestion dropdown. We'll want the suggestions to show only when the user starts typing. So let's bind the container visibility to the following formula. There. Next, we'll want to show only the suggestions that match the input in our search field. Let's change the binding of the repeat width to a formula and add a select to filter our suggestion list. Now the search field is filtered as the user types. Let's also add lowercase formula functions so there's no mix-ups with uppercase and lowercase letters. Finally, we'll only want to display a few suggestions at a time. Let's use Slice to only show the first four matching products. Note that in Slice, the index in the third parameter is not included in the result. So Slice from index 0 to index 4 includes only four items. And there we have our suggestion dropdown all set up. All we have to do is add the open page logic for when a suggestion is chosen. Let's add an open page flow function after the component tab event for the suggestion paragraph. Choose the detail page as the target and give the parameter current ID. Finally, we'll quickly style the container to look like an actual suggestion field. Looking at our preview, we can see that the suggestions appear when we start typing and get filtered according to our search. When a suggestion is clicked, the detail page with the correct product name is opened. I hope you enjoyed this power-up and let's meet again soon!